What is up ladies and gentlemen, Spadio, and welcome to Bakugan Battle Balls. This will be my first playthrough with the Elgato, so I figured we'd play through this game first. Simply because, for one, I wouldn't mind getting used to this, to playing games like this, before diving into a big JRPG. <laughs> so, we're starting things off with this. The day of recording. Right now is January 1st, 2019, and the time right now is 8.08 p.m. And anyway, let's just get started. New game. I have too many save files. <laughs> This will be my second time playing through the PlayStation 3 version. The main version I played through was the Wii version. One day when all these random cards started raining down everywhere. At first they seemed harmless enough, so a bunch of us kids invented this cool new game. That's when we realized those cards weren't so harmless after all. They were packed with incredible powers from another world. My name is Dan, and together with my friends Runo, Marucho, Julie, not to mention Mr. Hotshot himself, Shun, and Alice, we are the Bakugan Battle Brawlers. Bakugan, one goal, two worlds. This should be an interesting playthrough. Two back you on Let's Plays back to back. And anyway, we wanna do story mode. Chances are you're gonna hear the controller a few times. Alright, let's name ourselves. But before that. I actually want to use the cheat codes for this game just to save myself some time for money grinding. I I just rather not level grind for money this time around. But it's been years since I've done this, so using the cheat codes for this game. I have them on screen now. I'm looking at weights. Alright, so the first one is 3 3. 2 0. 4 4. 2 9. Alright, we have a thousand gold on cast right now. Alright, next one. There's only five more to type in, so. You have a boring stuff, there it is, there it is. I would dive into a big JRPG immediately, but. I wouldn't like learning how to actually do this a bit more. Kind of get used to things. Two nine four. And already I can hear the dog barking. First episode. As that uh, was five thousand, so we now have six thousand. Alright, the third one is four six eight. 
36 4 7 8 This will save so much time for money grinding. Like if you want to try and get everything, the fastest way I feel like is to just do this. I am also trying to platinum this game, so may as well try and do some of that join this playthrough as well. Save some time. I feel like I skipped one, but whatever. That's a 9 9. I could just cut this out, but I'd rather just saw it. And 3. Not entirely so what name. I'm gonna pick Valkyrie, but I think I've got one in mind. That's a six zero three. Seven nine four seven. This doesn't even fit. <laughs> Oh, wait, 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 what's this? Oh, that just does that. I think it would move to another empty slot, but no. Which one am I even looking at? Oh, it's a 2 6. Yeah, I fucked that up big time. <laughs> No, 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 no. Oh, wait, wait. That was fucking clear. I'm an idiot. I was looking for, like, backspace to delete what we put in. Oh, let's try this again. Two, six, zero, sorry. Seven, nine, four, seven. Why do I feel like we put this one in already? Guess not. Alright. I think I've got a name picked out. I ended up splitting the pulp. For a little bit thinking of a name. And I think I've got one. It's simple. And it really should have taken me as long as it did. Just think of it. Zio! Yes, let's go with Zio. Alright, so now we have to pick out element. To start off with at least. Ventus, the attribute of wind. Oh now you're gonna start typing. Ice, the attribute of fire. Subterra, the attribute of earth. Aquas, the attribute of water. Chaos, the attribute of light. Darkus, the attribute of darkness. Honestly, for me, whenever I play this game, I either go with Chaos or Darkus because I just really hate the way our partner looks. Our partner's color will change 
depending on what attribute you choose. And honestly, Chaos and Darkness are the only decent looking color variants. And honestly, I always usually go with Darkness. Chaos is usually the second option. We're going with Darkness. And also, I don't really change the customization for my kill every time I play this game too much. It's usually just the same look. I was actually debating between black hair or grey hair. Which is more grey looking, but I like to call it white. I was thinking white hair, but let's go with dark hair. Let's go with black. I usually like this option the most for eyes. And also, I've actually mixed up the eye color a few times before. Usually, it's like blue, or green, or pink. Oh, that's purple? Looks a little pink to me. Anyway, we'll go with purple. Purple eyes, I never change the nose. Yeah, no good mouth options either. I close. Let's go with the hoodie. And we're just going to dress in basically all white. Yeah, let's go with the first option for pants. I don't know what it is, but I like using the helmet dark is having the camera dressed up in white. It just looks a lot cooler to me. And these shoes are fine. I was like, we're gonna go with the black and white instead of pure white. And what does the this one look like? Oh yeah, that actually looks better. Yeah, let's go with this. We'll keep the color. Uh, I think we're done customizing. Do you want to finish editing your kill and save? Yes. We spent like the first 15 minutes just doing this. <laughs> Mainly typing in the codes. Unknown hyperspace. Finally, the silent orb is complete. Now all Bakugan will bow to me. Moments later in the Doom Dimension. Meanwhile, on Earth... No way! I wasn't making fun of you guys! Admit it, punk! You were making fun of the way I battle! Right, Akira? That's what I heard! What's your problem, kid? Nothing. I just like Bakugan. Well, so do I! And now, I'm gonna show you how it's played! But... but I'm new at Bakugan. I don't even know all the rules yet. 
Well, you're about to learn the hard way. Teach him a lesson, Shuji. Back off, Shuji. Huh? Dan? This is none of your business. Get lost. Hey, kid. What's going on? Whoa, Dan from the Bakugan Brawlers, you're all over the net. So, you need any help? Are you serious? That would be awesome. No problem. I'll show you some of my old tricks. And if you're lucky, I won't even charge you. <laughs> Yeah, so if you actually say yes to skip the tutorial, you pretty much miss out on the battle. You've already beaten Suji, do you want to do the tutorial again? Yeah, that's because I played through this version of the game once before. Do I want to do the tutorial again? Yes. Yeah, you're probably gonna be hearing this tail squeak a lot. I mean, a really squeaky tail. And I also forgot to turn vibrating off. Bakugan is a game where players start with a deck of cards and three Bakugan. Your goal is to win three gate cards. Yeah, I already know that, Dan. I thought I forgot to turn off the vibrates and on the controller before doing this. I find it annoying and I forgot to do it. Oh well. This has definitely been a game I've been wanting to let's play for a long while now. So this would be pretty fun. First, each player takes a gate card from their deck and puts it on the battlefield. I love how most of this game's voice acted. Kid, you don't stand a chance. Game start. Gate cards do three things. Boost your G power, change the rules of battle, and decide which type of battle you'll play. Gate card set! Player one's turn. Let's try throwing and landing on a gate card. Aim with the left so and press the X button. Press the L1 button and the R1 button to select a shot type. To be honest, I forgot this voice was in the game. I right, see so these little background we have. Well, let's start with you. To fill the power gauge, tilt the wireless controller forward quickly to throw. Well, absolutely playing the PlayStation 3 version. You can steer your Bakugan by holding the R2 button and tilting the wireless controller. Use the left stick and right stick too for sharper turns. While holding the R2 button, tilt the wireless controller forward to speed up and tilt it backward to slow down. Yeah, I really don't remember this voice. Good. Bakugan, stand! Good. <laughs> uh. Now it's Shuji's turn. Uh, usually I like to skip the CPU's turns. You can shoot. And chances are I will be doing that a lot. Aim at their Bakugan with the left stick and press the R2 button to shoot. Throughout the playthrough. I just find it takes too long. 
And it's really boring. So I'm probably not going to be selling it much. Start when two Bakugan land on the same card. Win the battle to win a gate card. I usually skip this too. The Bakugan just sewing themselves off. Gate card open. And that. I usually just like to get to the Each action. Each card has a G-Power boost that gives Bakugan extra G-Power based on their attribute. It's added at the start of a battle. You can use an ability card right before a battle begins. If you play the right card, you can really help your Bakugan. No. I will look at somewhat safe. I find the same mini game. In this version of the game is hollow than it is on the Weevils. <laughs> Half the time it doesn't even feel like you're hitting it. Unless you take your sweet time doing it. I usually skip that as well. Yes, I won! Nice job! You won, and now you get a gate card! Player one's turn. Alright, so the three slanted rectangles up on the upper left is your gay cards that you've won. The ones lit up are the ones you won. And the darker ones are the ones you need to get. Chances are you've seen this game before though. But just in case for those who haven't. Bakugan Brawl! Bakugan Stand! Stand. You rock! CBU 2's turn. Yeah, we'll skip again. <laughs> what a joke! Player once. He usually fails anyway. Shuji missed! Try to get another Bakugan on the same card! As that was scripted then. Double stand. You won't beat me. Nice double stand. Now you've got another gate card and you're close to winning. See you choose turn. Gate card set. Skip. Bakugan stand. I'd say you actually land it this time. Player one's turn. That's two cards in a row. Just one more. So there are two ways you can get gay cards. You can either battle for one, or you can get double stand. Oh, hold it. 
Zoom in. Let's see if we can do it. Now let's go with the you. Bakugan Brawl! I we did it. Spear attack. Spear attack. I usually don't get those off. Glad I did. Gate card open. Yeah, we're just gonna use both gate cards. I mean, just both cards in general. I mean, all the cards. It's my whole fucking screen, and I just couldn't think of the word. Uh, right in front of me, and I'm blind. I right, timing level one. This is literally just a little square. to play and win, check out the tips in my room or tutorial on the main menu. How? How did you beat my brother? This isn't finished, kid. Just wait until the tournament. <laughs> You'll be sorry. And he didn't beat me, Akira. I... I let him win. Nice job! You rocked! A little more practice and who knows? We could end up as partners at the tournament Shuji was talking about. That would be awesome! But I'm just a beginner. To enter a tournament, I need a wicked Bakugan. Something like Drago. Hmm, I see what you mean. It's real important to have a tight relationship with your Bakugan. Anyway, thanks, Dan. Gotta roll! Catch you later, buddy, and good luck! You may now visit the store. Yeah, we're gonna say that for next time. Because it's basically a half hour long. So until next time, stay golden.